Hello again, a new day, a new test, and uh, a while ago, if you remember, I've been tuned this uh, clamp meter. For, uh, for a better, uh, how can I say, uh, DC measurement, it was a discrepancy about measuring a current this way and the other way, you know, it was a Anyway, a uh, difference in between plus and minus measurements. And, uh, you know, I've been asked uh, by a subscriber if those tunings, you know, those trims I uh, switched is affecting the other domains, you know, the other measurements this clamp meter can take. So today, uh, finally, I got some time on, uh, I put all these things together and we should start seeing if those tunings I've done are affecting the rest of the functionality of the clamp meter. By the way, this is a Kwitz HT208D. So first, here I have my power supply and here I have some uh, divider and uh, linear regulator for 3.3 and 5 volts. I have a few multimeters here, my little oscilloscope there, FNIRC 138 Pro. This is a ADM02 from B-Side. This is my old and trusty. M890G. Let's start doing the test. So let's turn these things on. We'll do first a DC voltage. And as you can see, we already have from the power supply 1.28. This is a LM317 based power supply. So this is the minimum I can acquire. So we have on the oscilloscope, we have 1.40. This guy is showing me 1.281, this one it's 1.27, and this one it's 12.70. These guys are very, very close one with each other. And let me introduce Kwitz in uh, DC mode measuring with the original cables or probes. And here we have minus and here we have 1.269, 1.281, 1.27, 1.270. Yeah, it's pretty okay. Let's put uh, the voltage up. Let's go to five volts. Okay, 13, let's say 13 volts, almost 13.02 by this guy, 13.299. Yeah, th these guys are very close, very, very close. And we have a 13.05, a little bit higher on this side. And look here, 12.97 very close with the others, very, very close. So what we can see, the DC measurement, it's not affected. And we have another function here, DC with low resistance, low Z. And this is the same, look there, 15.49. Yeah, I may call it very okay. So the DC function, it's not affected by the tunings. And my oscilloscope also, it's saying, 15.9 volts, not bad. <laughs> okay, next uh, measurement will be the frequency. And I'll introduce a signal generator, 50. 50 Hertz, this is square. So we have Hertz right here. Yeah, 50 Hertz with around five volts peak to peak. As you can see, we have 0 0.05, very nice here. Let's see this guy, 49.98 Hertz. Very close. Do we have a frequency meter here? No, I don't have that, but at least I can measure voltage in AC, 1.31. This is okay, this is perfect. Frequency meter and nothing, why? Yes, we have AC, very clear, but I'm afraid it doesn't like square wave. In this case, I'm gonna have a sinus signal generator. Let's hope this one is readable. Now we have one kilohertz, okay? It's working 1.0. It's going even farther to four kilohertz. Yeah, it's doing a good job. This guy is going good. I'm not sure if the frequency meter is working or not, but I can tell you that I have output here. We have a huge peak to peak voltage. I have a 5.15 volts. Kilohertz here. 1.8, come on up, come on up. It's trying to do something, but it's all over the place. Both of these guys, they are having the same disease. They are not counting frequency upside down. 
but the old guy still doing a great job. Anyway, we are here to test Kwitz 17.24 Hz. What is this duty cycle and Hz? No, no chance. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Doesn't show me anything about those hats there. Both these guys are not counting frequencies. Okay, next test is to have a few resistors in the circuit. Okay, you can go out. Thank you very much. What we got here? 87 ohms. Let's go with the old guy. Maybe I should try that. 200 ohms. So this is 8.6 ohms. All right. K weights in ohm meter. 8.3 ohms. Yeah, pretty close. Let me have this one also for compare. 9.9. .9. Oh no. No, no, no. 9.9 9 .9 ohms. We are so out of tune. <laughs> oh, maybe higher one. Okay, 15 kilo ohms. 22 kilo ohms. Oh. 2208 K weights. 220, no, 2207. Yeah, it looks good. 22.0. Yeah. Oh, I may say that the ohm meter function is still working. Okay. What else? I wish to have um, a transformer because I really don't trust these guys to measure any high voltages. So I just gonna step on that. So far, what, what I can say. So far it's looking like the tweakings I've been made for having a perfect amps current measurement. It's not affecting the voltages in DC. It's not affecting the ohm meter, but we still have some other tests to do and let's have some capacitors. Yeah, right. I forgot about capacitors. Okay. One nano. Let's see my friend here. Come on, one nano, perfect. This is perfect. What about this guy? This is a perfect measurement tool. Yeah, 1.03 something nano beside. Okay, so now select uh, diode mode, ohmmeter, and here we have capacitance. I don't wanna touch anything. 81, 0, 081 nanofarads, okay. Mm -hmm. Not quite. And what about my friend here? Do we have to switch diode mode? Yeah, that's the diode mode. And now we have capacitance 1.040. Yeah, very good. What about this? 01, 95.49. Okay, let's see. 95.01. Very good. And you, my friend, 95.4. Okay, so the capacity is working great. The resistance meter is working as it should, so I don't want to test it anymore. Diode mode, for sure, it's working. Continuity mode, it's working. So the single thing I, f I found strange is the frequency meter. Okay, and the final test, temperature measurement, 23.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Is it going up? Oh yeah, of course. Finally, the tweakings I've made, they are not affecting the DC measurements, the resistors, I mean resistance measurements and capacitance to the temperature is working fine. The single problem, or I don't know, maybe I, I did something wrong, is the frequency meter. In fact, if those tweakings are affecting the other functions, I don't think so. I don't see anything related to that. So. If you want to do yourself something like that, proceed because the others are working fine. Okay, I hope it's useful and uh, like always, please like, subscribe and of course, don't forget, have fun. Bye bye.